What's going on guys? So today's video is just going to be a really brief overview of the Scout Tech app, how to navigate it, as well as all the features that are included. In the future we will release a more in-depth video covering everything in a little more detail. But for now, once you sign into your Scout Tech app, you'll notice it takes you to the main dashboard. Now since I have multiple cameras on my account, I can view the photos and videos up here at the top. I can click on this section to take me to the photos page. Now the same thing with the camera section just below that, I can swipe through here, view the individual statuses of my cameras as well as clicking on that will take me to the cameras page. Down here at the bottom is a data usage section so I can see how much I've used, how much I have left, and a rough estimate of if I'm going to go over or not. Now if you don't have any cameras on your account, this section will be mostly blank with the exception of this register new camera button. But by clicking that, you can select a camera by individual model, but since most of our cameras nowadays have a QR code, all you have to do is touch that scan QR code button, place it over your camera, you'll name it, and then proceed through the activation. So it's very simple to get up and run, and we've tried to make this app as user-friendly as possible. So not only can you navigate everything from this main dashboard, we also have a menu up here in the top left corner, which will take you to the individual pages. So let's go ahead and start out with the photo section. Now anytime you're going to be interacting with a photo, this is where you'll come, whether you want to save it, delete it, request high def, or anything of that sort. So on the main grid here, I can view my photos from all of my cameras. The most recent will always be on top. I can also click this cameras tab to the right of it and view photos for individual cameras. Same thing with locations. I can view the photos from cameras in certain areas and locations as well as a tag section next to that. Now back to the main photo page, there's multiple ways to save, delete, and request high def photos. You can start up here in the top right by clicking these three dots. You'll see the section to download, delete, request high def, set location and tag, as well as to share. Next to that is a grid tab so you can adjust the photo layout to customize your needs. Now next to the grid viewer is also a filters icon. So you can filter how you want to view your photos, whether it's by individual camera, maybe you want to see videos only or HD photos only, so you can really customize it to suit your needs. Now the other way to request high def photos, save and delete them, is click on the photo individually. So you'll notice down at the bottom there's a share icon on the left, a delete button, a download button, and then I can also hit these three dots to request an HD photo or to tag it. So like I said, there's multiple ways to navigate the app, multiple ways to do what you need to get done. So back into the menu, we'll go to the camera section. Now anytime you want to interact with your camera, you'll come to the cameras page. So right next to the name, let's say you want to change settings, you can click this gear icon. Adjust any settings that you want. You can save and cancel down at the bottom. Next to that gear icon is a share icon. So you can share cameras with your current friends or you can search for a new friend by username or email. You'll also notice it gives you the option to share as view only or admin access. View only is pretty self-explanatory. It means they can just view photos, videos, and settings. Whereas admin access gives them full access to the camera so they can do everything that you can do. There's also a button where you can view the status report. And then underneath the photo for that camera is an actions button where you can access your real-time commands such as take a photo, video, request status report, format SD card, and update firmware. You can also click on the picture to bring you to the photos page for that specific camera as well as this actions history button to see any recent requests that you've sent that camera such as update settings, take photo, take video. So if you have multiple cameras on your account as well as cameras shared with you, your cameras will always show up at the top and your shared cameras will show up at the bottom. But like I said, anytime you're interacting with the camera, you come to the camera section. Now back into the menu below cameras, you'll see a tab that says map. Now this feature won't be released for another few weeks, but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little preview. Now the coolest thing about Scout Tech's mapping feature and what makes it different from the others is not only can you set pins for your individual cameras, deer stands, feeders, etc. You can click on a pin of that specific camera and down at the bottom you can view individual photos and videos as well as have access to your actions button. So take photo, take video, and at the top you'll notice you can change camera settings. So you can do all of this from the mapping section. You don't have to back out, go into the menu, and go into these individual sections. It's super helpful just being able to click a pen, click on a photo, and you can see all the activity from a bird's eye view. 
Now back into the menu, there's a friend section. You can view all your friends and followers as well as search for new ones. Below that is a shopping tab where you can visit our store and make any purchases. Now the My Account section is where you'll go to activate or deactivate a camera, adjust your data plans, pay invoices, and things of that nature. So once you first launch it, you'll see at the top in blue you can view your current data plan or click that button beneath it to change it. Same thing with your overage tolerance. And then beneath that is the list of every camera that's registered on your account and the status of that camera. As you can see, most all of mine are active with the exception of one, but to change a camera status, I can hit that red activate button and proceed through checkout. Or for a camera that's already active, you can click those three dots to the right and you have the option to deactivate or suspend. You also have the option of unchecking that auto renew box which means your camera will use the amount of data that you've already paid for and then at the end of that data cycle it will automatically deactivate itself. Now back at the top of the My Account section you'll notice a menu to the right of Scout Tech Wireless and when you touch that you have a few more options here such as Scout Tech Direct which is adding an email style camera to your account so one that is not interfaced with the Scout Tech software as long as it has the ability to send photos to an email address you can add it to your Scout Tech account Below that is the Equipment Center. This is where you'll come to exchange your camera for a new one, return, transfer, delete that camera, or report it as stolen. Now Account Options is where you'll go to redeem a gift certificate or enable APIs in the future. Below that is Data Usage. You can view total data usage as well as individual camera data usage. You can adjust your payment methods, view invoices as well as pay current invoices, and view previous orders. So like I said, anytime you're going to be spending money or doing anything with your account, that will be in the My Account section. And another neat thing about Scout Tech is you can go into there, you can activate, deactivate, adjust your data plan, overage tolerance, and all that at any point throughout the month with no fees or penalties. So we try to make it as user-friendly as possible. Below the My Account section, you'll see a mobile settings. So again, from the notification section, you can adjust your notifications to suit your needs. Silent, sound, off. You can also have it silent during a certain time range, off during a certain time range. So again, guys, we're trying to make it as user-friendly as possible and give you as many settings and options as possible. So that's basically it, guys. That's just a quick overview. Like I said, there's multiple ways to navigate the app. There's tons of features. You can share your cameras with up to 10 people for free. Like I said, we will release a more in-depth version in the future. Another helpful tip when you first sign in is to always hit that refresh button in the top right corner. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to us at support at scouttech.com.